when I was out on the road with Velvet Revolver, I came home from the tour and I was looking to start doing my solo record. And I was looking for a studio. And uh, so Chris and I got to talking about whatever it was. I asked Chris what it was that he did. And he said he was an engineer. And I was like, oh, cool. And then, uh, then I got asked about doing Elayo's movie and I really needed a place to go and work. And I went back to Chris, I said, so you're an engineer, like what kind of engineer? And he sort of gave me a, a, a bird's eye view of what he does in here and the equipment that he had. And I asked him would he be interested in working on this crazy project with me and at the same time working on my solo record as well. So I came over here and, uh, and that's how it started. And, and Chris read the script as well and, and uh, and he was into it, and Chris and I just have a really great working relationship and seems to understand how I work and I understand how he works even. It's, it's, it's sort of, you know, interesting kind of a thing, but it works really well. I and mean, he's got a great studio here, and it's been great, it's been very private. You know, we've just been working for, like, literally the first day we started on this project, we've been working together pretty much every day. Slash is, like, the easiest guy to work with, you know, we come in, he's He's actually on time, which is, which in the last six years, normally people call and say they're running late hour after they're supposed to be here, slash is like right on time. We get here, chill for a little bit, write, laugh, watch the movie, go eat something, come back, work on something else. It's, it ain't even work. Um, well, I've been in the hip-hop world for so long, and um, since Slash has been here, you know, I've been big jump into the rock world, you know? And, and it's just nice being able to lay live instruments down and be able to actually get a vibe going other than just with the electronic music and a vocalist coming in and writing over one of my tracks. It's nice to actually get involved and actually have a live bass and the guitars come in and then laying some live drums over it. So. It's definitely a good experience, you know, being a, a, the live end of it, you know. Elio's great. Elio, when he came out here, the first day we, he came out here, we were we went out to eat with Slash, and then he needed a place to crash. He, he just came and slept on my couch for about two hours, and when I woke up in the morning, he was gone. <laughs> and he's a, yeah, he's a really he, real easy guy to work with. Kind of uh, kind of um, spoiling me. I'm just afraid to work with another director now, you know, because he's so easy. To work with. Uh, it's all been so, it's been so easy, you know, it's just kind of, Slash does his homework, comes here, kind of knows what he wants, and, and we just watch the movie and, and feel it, you know, and everything has been, I don't know if it's just because Olayo is so easy to work with, but, you know, with Slash and Olayo together, I mean, it's just, it is nothing but love and ease and fun and, you know, so I would say, um, yeah, it's, there has been no hard part for me.